Hey everyone, I am Sanket Singh. I am working as a software engineer at Google and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about my interview experience with LinkedIn. So prior to working with Google, I worked as a software engineer at LinkedIn. So at LinkedIn, I joined as a, uh, I would say fresh grad as a software engineer as an SDE one uh, that you call uh, in like rest of the companies. So I'll tell you about my whole interview process, the whole procedure from online test to the file, final hiring process, everything I'm going to include in this video. First of all, like uh, why I am creating this video. Uh, I am creating this video because I believe that uh, my interview experiences are also really very important for most of the people out there because I uh, appeared for the interview of LinkedIn off campus and uh, I got a referral through which I was able to apply. I'll tell you about the whole story, but I believe that this whole interview process is gonna give you some context around how you should prepare for companies like this and you will be able to grow yourself better uh, when you will be giving the interviews of companies similar to that of LinkedIn. So without any further delay, let's just start. But with, before starting the video, if you have yet not subscribed to the channel, do hit the subscribe button and do watch the video till the end. And if you feel uh, the video was useful for you, do uh, hit the like button and show your support by dropping your comment and sharing it with your friends. So I applied uh, to the off-campus opportunity of LinkedIn around in the month of February, like February end was the month when I applied to the opportunity. So I saw an opening at LinkedIn uh, that, okay, this, uh, this uh, like I would say team is hiring for a software engineer. Although the position I applied for was of one year plus experienced, but I still applied to the position because I believe that companies do consider freshers also for kind of one year experience profile as well. So how I applied? So I reached out to a lot of people for referrals and uh, someone from DTU, the Delhi Technical University, who was already working at LinkedIn, was ready to refer me uh, for the position. He found my profile relevant enough. I shared him my resume. I asked him politely that, okay, can you please refer me? Uh, it would be like really helpful if I can uh, get a shot at this opportunity. And he then and there uh, referred me to the profile. And like after two to three days, I got a call from the HR that I was referred uh, for this position and they are ready to take up my procedure because the HR read my resume and uh, she found it to be attractive enough and wanted to give me a chance because obviously referral doesn't mean a guaranteed uh, shot at the position. The referral means that the HR is gonna notice your resume. They are gonna read your resume for sure. So the HR called me, they said that we are going forward with the procedure and for the first step, uh, you are going to have the online test. And if you are able to do good in the online test, uh, we can take out, take it up forward. So now let's just discuss how was my online test experience in the whole interview process of LinkedIn. So the online test of LinkedIn was conducted on the platform of HackerRank. So the test, as far as I remember, uh, precisely was around 80 to 90 minutes. In 80 to 90 minutes, I was expected to solve three questions. Uh, I would say uh, the questions were easy, medium, medium. And I would, I, I would like to reiterate easy, easy, medium and medium. So the first question was very, very simple. I, I didn't find it directly on the internet because it was a simple ad hoc question. What I was expected to do was given an array, I was supposed to raise the power of every element of the array to some value B and do a modulo C. So I, wanted, I, I was expected to do a raised to the power B modulo C on all the elements of the array. So it was a very typical question of modular exponentiation to be done on the whole array. I saw the question, I, I was like able to uh, identify the fact that, okay, this question is definitely going to be solved by modular exponentiation. And it was really, really simple. If you have solved questions around modular exponentiation, then you will be able to uh, definitely catch it up. The second question was a traditional breadth first search question. The question was directly from lead code and I already solved it. The question was uh, on a chess board or a check board, you have the starting position and an ending position. You have the player who can move as a knight. Uh, what's a knight? Knight of a chess, right? So the player can move as, the, uh, as a knight that is in a direction and you have to calculate the shortest path from the starting position till the ending position 
right and this was a typical question of breadth first search you can directly find it on lead code i'll drop the comment of the uh, i'll drop the uh, link to the question in the description section the third question i don't exactly remember the whole question but was a question from uh, so uh, uh, the overall question was a dp plus string question which was expected uh, which was expecting some optimization using hashwrap i was not able to find the exact question on the internet uh, but yeah it was a dp plus string question and i was able to readily do it and in the 90 minutes i completed all the three questions with all the test cases getting passed because at the ha at the platform hacker rank you are able to see how many test cases are getting passed so uh, after this the hr called me so there is a very uh, interesting procedure about uh, interesting thing about the whole procedure of linkedin that uh, if you are not able to solve all the three questions in the online test then also they they can take your profile forward with one or two extra rounds called as mentor rounds but due to the fact that i was able to solve all the questions uh, all the three questions completely the hr called me after like 4 5 days and they said that they want to schedule uh, the whole interview process uh, now i'll tell you about the whole interview process so let's just start so the whole interview process was conducted in one single day so the hr informed me about the fact that there are going to be uh, two technical discussion which are going to be focused on problem solving in, and algorithmic skills there will be one technical discussion that will be uh, totally focused on system design there will be one technical discussion that will be a project discussion and there will be one manager round right so uh, the whole procedure was expected to be conducted in one single day uh the uh, i still remember it was 10th of uh, march when my uh, interview was scheduled it was a uh, it was a time when covid just struck our country so initially my whole interview process was scheduled to be done offline at the office of linkedin but i just got a call one day before that uh, the offices have been shut down and uh, i need to take up the whole interview process online so this was my first online interview experience right so the all the rounds were conducted in single day that was the best part because i like those kind of uh, interview process where everything is conducted in one single day so the in the first uh, algorithmic technical discussion round i was asked very very simple questions uh, the first question that i was asked was given a string of words i have to reverse the string word by word so word by word reversal was expected it's a direct question from gfg and lead code i'll drop the link in the description apart from that i was given a question of binary trees in which uh, given a binary tree i was expected to mirror the corresponding binary tree i have to i was expected to find the mirror of the corresponding binary tree uh, it was something like two binary trees are given you have to check uh, whether both of them are mirror or not so there are multiple variations of this so i was asked one variation around this and only two questions were there the main part was i was expected to code both of the questions i coded both of the questions in c++ you can take any language of your choice uh, i didn't choose java although i was a, i was uh, uh, i would say uh, i i practiced enough in java as well but i didn't take up java because i knew that linkedin's engineer definitely know java and they can grill me a lot on that so i took up c++ that's my first hand language as well in the second algorithmic technical discussion round uh, i was asked two question again the whole uh, the whole round was of 1 hour the first question that i was asked was around binary search tree so given so i was given a binary tree and i was expected to find the largest binary search tree subtree in the corresponding binary tree again a direct typical question from lead code uh, the second question that i was asked was from priority queues uh, so the question was something uh, like this that you are given a call a, a row wise uh, sorted array and you have uh, like a 2d grid was given where every row was sorted and you have to find the kth largest element of the whole uh, sorted 2d grid and then they also modified the question a bit uh, like some follow up questions were there based on some modification of this question only so it was also a direct question from lead code so both of the questions i would say were first one was easy and second was easy medium kind of a thing so these were like the technical these two uh, rounds were only where i was asked algorithmic questions in the whole uh, uh, face to face interview rounds of linkedin So the third round was the main round where I was like really really scared uh, because it was a system design round. I was uh, I, to be very honest, I was not completely prepared. But yeah, I I knew that I have read few things and I have been preparing for this, so I can definitely take up this. 
so uh, so this was also a one hour round and i was expected to design top k trending tweets right so there is if let's say you have a twitter uh, system then i was expected to design a top system which which can calculate top k trending tweets of let's say last one minute last one hour last one whole day so on and so forth so this is a typical question of top k heavy hitters uh, you can read about them in a lot of books i'll uh, drop some link uh, of some uh, youtube videos and some books where you can read about uh, read more about this question so uh, i would say in a system design round nothing is 100% accurate but i was able to solve and give them most of the things i was able to design the database part uh, i was able to design the whole architectural part how exactly i'm going to calculate the k heavy hitters i added most of the components i believe correctly and they were also satisfied with the overall approach that i did so this was the round uh, this was the overall discussion on the system design round they directly asked me the question and was expecting the whole discussion i was expected to ask a lot of questions around the system how exactly the system is expected to be because this is something that you need to do in the system design round and i i believe that it went well so this was my experience with the system design round now the final two rounds uh, were conducted after a short lunch break so previous rounds were back to back uh, one after another and then there was a lunch break and then uh, i went for the project discussion round in the project discussion round they just discussed few of my projects that i mentioned in my resume right uh, they discussed that why i made them no, made those projects and uh, why exactly this were relevant why i used some tech stack where uh, in which competition i if if any in any competition i made it so these kind of discussion were there they asked about some features of my projects and then they also asked few questions around computer networks where i was asked some questions around the overall http mechanism that how exactly http call is made because i uh, told them okay this is a, there is a front end system in my project this is a back end system i make http calls and then they started uh, grilling me up in the discussions of computer networks uh, also they discussed a few things around database management system also because all the back end system that i uh, did in my project were including some databases so they asked a bit of things around normalization and also asked me to write a query uh, a, a simple sql query based on few joins that was very simple so yeah so they asked a bit of computer science fundamentals no questions from operating system was asked but yeah uh, computer networks may uh, they they were asking http the whole metho methodology of http like first you set up the tcp the for test setting of the tcp how you set up tcp then after setting up tcp how http is set up so on and so forth so this was the overall discussion in the project discussion round and just after that following up was the hiring manager round so that was kind of non technical they asked me about that why i want to join linkedin why i am leaving my previous organization what what are my goals what i think is going to be the most relevant thing for uh, like as an engineer if i join linkedin so on and so forth so these were the major things uh, that were discussed in the hiring manager round it was like a kind of casual and chill round where they also asked me more of like how i'm like going through the pandemic like because the lockdown was expected so on and so forth uh, but yeah it was like kind of casual normal discussion which was more aligned towards my future goals as an engineer like what i am going to do 5 years down the line and yeah and this was the whole procedure that was conducted in one single day after like one one and a half weeks i got a response from the hr that uh, they are ready to move forward with an offer and they are offering me the role of software engineer one in the enterprise provisioning team uh, then i was able to get a call with uh, my team manager and uh, the main engineering manager team for under which I, i was going to work and yeah and then there were some offer discussions and i got my offer letter so this was my whole interview experience uh, with linkedin uh do tell me in the comment section how do you feel uh did you enjoyed this and would you like to uh listen to more such in depth interview experiences because i gave a lot of interviews in a lot of them i was rejected in a lot of them i was uh, selected as well uh so would you be interested in more such videos if yes then comment down below and if you find this video interesting do uh hit the like button do subscribe to the channel do share it with your friends so that they can also learn about the interview experiences of companies like linkedin uh if you will ask me to rate the overall uh, interview then i would say the interview uh, was on an easier side uh, most of the questions were easy apart from the system design question so if you are preparing just from the lead code also then also a company like linkedin can be easily uh, crackable i would say 
so do practice hard i will drop all the relevant links and the books from where i practiced and uh, see you guys soon in the next video till then take care guys bye bye have a great week ahead and love you all